Yo, 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 it's Sully B saving the planet. And today we're gonna try something. Um, we're gonna go and visit Sully Verdi, which is uh, like a permaculture project in El Ramate. So let's see what happens. This is my lucky charm. His name is Donkey. <laughs> so yeah, I'm already super late to go to the permaculture farm, but I'm just gonna go anyway. Um, so I got these seeds, uh, organic soya beans. So I'm gonna like offer them to the people, see if they want, uh, they want. Look at this nature, man, it's so trippy. What is that? Look at that, man, it's so trippy. Ooh. Okay, so like, yeah, I've been meaning to go to this permaculture project for quite a while now, but I don't really know. It's really hard for me to explain what happened, but like, to kind of summarize, like the energy forces have been stopping me from going. Like a lot of cosmic energy waves have been coming down to us. Actually, this is the place, Soli Verdi, but I mean, it's not the place. It's just like the name of the place I'm going to is written on a bin and like I saw this before and it's kind of like I don't know why they wrote it on a bin Sol e Verdi it means sun and green uh, maybe because they're using this bin to collect compost but I'm not sure this is like a really cool animal that's like um, in the jungle here I, I saw it once at Tikal um, in yeah. the area there's loads of cool churches like this and like everyone goes to church it's like the communal thing to do and everyone like it just gets everyone together and they pray to God and to Jesus and stuff like that um, it's interesting because I haven't even seen any like Mayan culture in this place which is weird because like like at least 50% of the people here are Mayan well, I know that it's because like the Spanish came and like converted everyone to um, Christianity really violently. But like, yeah, Mayan culture is amazing. And, like there's so much to learn from it. It's so fun. So, and it's really way more connected to, to like nature than Christianity. So uh, I, I wish I could see more Mayan culture. Never give up on love. Never let them tell you what you love. Love is the greatest force on this earth. Love is the greatest force on this earth. This is a kind of popular hostel. I've been to check it out. It's, it does actually look pretty cool. The thing is, is like, it says here French restaurant. I mean, this is not like, there's nothing about French cuisine that I find appealing. I actually am more interested in like Guatemalan food, like, This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, eat from the yeah, they have, like, I've seen they have some Macau. It, like, there's a root yeah, at the okay. bottom, you like okay. dig it up. Oh, okay. And it's like really nice. It's like okay. sweet potato. Or, oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but it's a bit tougher than that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was just hanging out with some like old Dutch ladies. They seem pretty nice. But um, now I've just entered into Soli Verd. And it's really quite peaceful here. You can hear the howler monkeys in the background. Okay, just walking in, it's kind of nice. They've like made the path kind of nice. It's a bit squelchy because of the rain. Ceylon bowstring hemp or snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. And yeah, it's just very hardy, drought tolerant. Beautiful. 
got an avocado tree here. And then we got um, oregano. Mm, I love how they grow stuff in tires. Tires. I don't know why. The cool thing about growing stuff in tires is that like you can kind of like block the weeds. Yeah, they got a load of avocado trees growing here, which is great. There you go, another one. This is the guardian of the forest, and you can make a tea out of it. It makes a really delicious tea. It also has like nice edible berries, but usually the animals get it first. This, if I'm not mistaken, is amaranth. Yeah, then we got... A bunch of spinach growing here. Yeah, I really like this spinach. It's so cool. This whole place is like completely flooded. But when I came here the other day, um, yeah, I was. Oh, you can see the bird. Hey, birdie. Hey. How you doing, birdie? Um. Yeah, like. This area is like always flood, like seems like it's flooded and stuff. But um, I was studying Shinampas and I was thinking, yeah, like this place might be a really cool to, if they built Shinampas. Yeah, it's a bit messy here. And you got guana leguminosa. Guana leguminosa. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it seems like it's a kind of bean. Actually, it does look like it's a bean. We got that growing up. That's cool. If I'm not mistaken, this is Chaya. Set the microphone on fire. Then you've got a little mango tree. Avocado tree? I don't know. Who's that? Oh my God, I just did a plant ID and this is actually Noni. A Noni tree. And like a noni is like a super, it's kind of smelly, but it's a super healthy fruit. These are just like uh, some little palm trees, little baby palm tree. This actually looks like a mulberry tree. I don't know why I think that. Well, let's see. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, there you go. It's, apparently it's a, I just did an ID and it's a white mulberry. So yeah, cool. The path has been flooded. So I'll take another route. Zabi 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 Oh, what's these guys? And then we got on the other side of this path these guys they're a bit flopped so I just did like an ID and I'm getting like that this is a kind of ginger or arrowroot which is arrowroot you can make flour from arrowroot 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 and this is the um wormy compost so let's have a look inside mm, I see some Cacahuante shells, peanut shells. See if there's some worms inside. Hmm, smells like good soil. Don't see no worms. Oh well. Now my hands are dirty. Ugh. Salt. But yeah, it's just like some nice soil there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. I need to check out what the fuck these guys are. So, this is like an oyster plant. But um, I'm getting no uses here apart from that. It's just like, well, it's purple, isn't it? The purple leaves is beautiful and it grows nicely here. And then you've got this looks like um, sweet potato or something like that. I don't know what the hell this is. But... Now, this is a bunch of uh, basket plants. And uh, here they are, the basket plants being pl planted. 
and actually they do have some kind of medicinal use. The Russians would put them in, in vodka and then, but you know, the Russians put everything in vodka. <laughs> this is of course the uh, Wandering Jew. It's edible and I will prove that. Mmm, mmm. Mm. It is actually quite nice, yeah. Just like fresh. Great for salads. You got the classic pyre tree poking through. Oh, is that chaya? Maybe that's chaya. Yeah, chaya. That's a very, very delicious thingy thing. Um, spinachy thing. Yeah, so I was drawn to this. And actually, it's a type, I think it's a type of yam. So. I don't know if you dig in there, like you might get a yam, which is like a kind of potato-y kind of starchy thing. It's amazing. Basically, it's delicious and amazing. The Jamaicans love the yam. Yam man. And yeah, this is like, um, I don't really know what this is, but it's, um, well, it's basically, in a nutshell, it's a ground cover. Big up the ginger. I don't know where exactly is that ginger. Jenny bruh. What is Geneva? Is it ginger? Some kind of aloe vera thing. Aloe. Cactus vibes. Aloe, aloe. And then, uh, yeah, we've got some more oregano. Oregano. Curcuma. So, I think that other leaf that we were looking at, they were saying it was ginger, but I think it's curcuma. Kakama is like turmeric. Yeah, and turmeric is amazing. Turmeric is really good for you. And we've got some ponds here. Some man-made ponds. Which have some kind of permaculture uses they like. Yes. got spring onions here, oregano, loads of oregano, 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 loads. This is like, I've forgotten the name, but, I don't know, it's edible. Squash. Papaya trees, yeah. Papaya, I set the microphone on fire. Mushroom, I don't know if it's edible. Doesn't look very appealing. Looks cool though. This is like whiskey. This is the first time I've seen it growing from a, a structure. Usually it's just like growing up a tree. Whiskey. It has another name as well. I don't know, it's nice. This sign says Moringa, but I can't see any Moringa around here. So, actually it looks like there's beans. There's a lot of beans growing here. Yay, beans. And this is the chaya section. Holy chaya. Hmm, I wanna eat one. Actually, I haven't had breakfast. Which is cool. Because it means I'm doing something I'm passionate about. Because if I don't eat, if I don't worry too much about food, if I, yeah, I used to, I, I used to have this like, when I was in a band, when I, when I had band practice, like, I didn't care about eating because like I was so enjoying being in the band like all I wanted to do was play music. Mmm. Chaya. Yep. I'm not sure what this is but like it's got a kind of aroma. It's a kind of herb. Ugh. 
just put it in my mouth. And then you got some thingy thing. I don't really know what this big bush is, but it seems like they've kept it here for certain reasons. And my guess is that it's the rattle box. Uh, I think you can eat the leaves. I don't know, they taste okay. I don't know. Yeah, so I think it's like pigeon pea. Well, it looks like pigeon pea. Like, it looks like a legum leguminous. Wow, and that looks cool. This is like a tomatillo. Looks like a, no, I think it's a chili bean, chili bean. I got my soybeans and um, I need to find a place to grow my soybeans. Look at this big ass beautiful tree, it's amazing. So cool. So yeah, um, I planted my nine organic soybeans and I made a little, you know, like woody triangle thing. It's the vanilla, it's vanilla. This amazing plant growing up the tree is vanilla. It looks amazing. So yeah, que calida, which means how cool in Guatemala. Yeah, it's called Back to Eden. And it's all about mulching, the power of mulching. In fact, this guy loves mulching so much that like he thinks God told him to do mulching. And look at this, oh, and look at this beautiful tree. Wow. And this sign, Indio Deshuto Medicina. Indio Deshuto. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I don't know what this plant is, but they seem to have planted a bunch of them all in the path. So, yeah, there must be some reason behind it. And then you've got this vanilla tree growing which is my new favorite climber. Yeah, so it's a kind of palm tree. But if I'm not mistaken, it could be this thing called Astrocarium Mexicanum. And if that's true, then um, it would produce some kind of thing that looks like this. Yeah, like there's loads avocado trees here, banana trees. They're called golden pot potholes, potholes. Look at this, banana, 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 avocado, banana, avocado, banana, 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 avocado, banana, 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 avocado, banana, 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 banana. Well, plant ID is saying it's like common morning glory, which means it's a psychedelic, but I'm not sure if it's that. Okay, so anyway, yeah, this is either an avocado or Mex Mexican avocado or a cacao tree. Um, hmm, so peaceful. Um, man, there's gonna just be so many avocado trees here. Good job, guys. What's this? Hmm. Holy shit, if my plant ID is correct, this is wild coffee. I love coffee. Hmm. What's this? Cool, so this is cola de iguana. Or at least that's what my plant ID thing says. And like, this is a medicinal using Michoacan. So yeah, I mean like, in this like wild, beautiful, wild, fresh forest, there's a lot of food happening here. I'm just making my way back to the kitchen and uh, just had a bird flying, so there's a lot of nature, I can hear it all around me. And like, that's the cool thing about permaculture is like, you know, you want to create, you want to work with nature. Like, so you want to grow food, but you want to grow food with nature, like all around. You don't want to like, scare all the animals away or 
like destroy all the biodiversity, biodiversity, destroy the soil. Like this is a, this project is like something. Ooh, what's that? Look. See all these sticks? Going up to this tree, bomb. Now I've seen this thing quite a few times. I've seen it on trees, I've seen it on the floor. I don't know if it's edible. I don't know what it is. Well, apparently it's a mammy sapote, but I'm not really sure if it's that. This is a papaya. 